tubulators and tubular cons and all the chips at sea. Uh, let me, I don't know if you can see my old head or not, but that's the way it is. We got a mail call here on the planet and uh, we're standing on top of the uh, concrete that we throwed down yesterday, me and a couple friends, and uh, it's lovely. It's going to be another addition to the little garage here and uh, get a lot of my junk that's out here in the weather under here as soon as we get some walls and a, and a roof over our head. So uh, that's going to be a lovely time, a lovely day. Uh, today I've got uh, concrete-itis. I can just hardly move from messing with this stuff and we didn't do much to it besides uh, uh, screed it once and bull float it a little bit so uh, it's just rough enough to be perfectly rough that I like it but uh, all three of us were aged and handicapped and broken down and goobed and this is the best we could do and when I said whoa they whoa pretty easy there's the mail call this one comes from the Peak family, specifically uh, Trish Peak, and uh, come from her lap. And uh, Richard Peak okayed it, and I think he had a big hand in getting it put together for me and pointing it in my direction. Uh, they're both lovely people. Uh, the family is lovely, and uh, on, I know y'all know the Peaks. So uh, let's try to jerk this open. I was too weak yesterday to do it, and I, I got to go to bed uh, just like the night before Christmas. I had all this kind of stuff zizzing around in my head, sugar plums and stuff, because I had a package to open, and it is gorgeous. Woohoo! It's got a carry handle. Now then, now then, sonny boy, let's do it this way next. My golly. Holy moly, look at this. Can you beat that? I can't beat it. This is some pretty good shooting from the Mr. and Mrs. Pigs. I tell you what, all of them's in the bullseye. Look at that. And a couple, at least three of them's in the same hole. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to put that on the wall. I'll tell everybody I did it. <laughs> Ooh. Zowie. Man, don't need that no anymore. No more, not no no more. Look at this. Look at this, boys and girls. It is a proper, proper, proper computer. My computer went to Memphis on me so many times. The last, the last one I bought, I got it out of uh, Walmart. They sell these uh, real cheap computers on their website that are refurbished, which means they're already broke and they fix at them and uh, and it lasted just several months and then it went to Memphis Ooh, look at this this is one of them MacBook MacBook uh, Apple Max things man yes this will put me back on YouTube because I've been I've been uh, sucking the hind tit, not getting able to watch all your videos and stuff, and I can comment on some on my phone, but the commenting is over whenever I try to watch the, the thing, so I try to, try to talk to y'all, wow. This is a very sweet note, too. 
I'll tell you what. I have several things in my room that are precious. And uh, uh, several years ago, I got a picture. I asked for a photograph of Mr. and Mrs. Peak and their wonderful dog, the one that passed away. And uh, that's a treasured piece. I've got that up, and I've, I don't think I've got any of my own family up in my room. But I, by golly, I got that. And uh, George, I got uh, J.T. Frickson, man, him and his sweet little wife, which you never see, but she's gorgeous. Uh, got them because I think of very much of them. And I got the heavy Chevys out there. And uh, the little girl made me a quet. Uh, little heavy Chevy girl, she made me a, a painted or a drawing or something of a beautiful eyeball looking at me. It says, I'm watching cut wearing. That's, that's a prize possession. And my walking stick from Wally's, Wally's World 66. Uh, I'm just eat up with friends and loved ones and everything else. And a lot of it's because of YouTube. So thank you all very much. And you know I love you all. This is going to be hooked up. Okay. Now, this is a fellow Arkansasier. He's a young man. He works really, really hard on the Corps of Engineers stuff. I probably got this wrong, so overcome me. He's got a 66 Chevrolet pickup he's, he's uh, restoring, and uh, it's a dandy. He's working on it and uh, doing all the good stuff. He's a young man, he works all the time. He works, I mean, this winter, I'm gonna pray for him hard and heavy because he'll be out on them, out on them construction things and running them other things. And uh, he'll need a lot, of, a lot of prayers and protection to keep him from falling into the Arkansas River and other places. And he's thought enough of me to uh, send me pardon me, to send me some Volkswagen parts. And uh, he's from, uh, oh, Rising, which is down south in cotton country and in swamp country where they got alligators. They thought very enough, uh, it took Arkansas about 100 years to, kick, to kill all the alligators and half the, co half the cotton mouths and, and almost all the rattlesnakes. And then the Game and Fish Commission thought very much of of getting some more of this stuff and reintroducing it in, into our world at our expense and they traded a whole bunch of our turkey to get some of that junk back. Now up north they're getting our elks back and uh, after about 10 years of, of uh, the elks being here uh, they have frillished and thirst and frolicked and now they're actually a problem. There's that gnat. They're a problem because they're getting in people's gardens and getting out on the road. And they're pretty aggressive. So this is Mr. Frizzell's. He has a YouTube channel. I'll look it up for just a minute. I know it in my head, but I can't speak it out my mouth. So you'll have to forgive me. Because I'm not running on the... After yesterday, I'm just... Blah. I'm just blottoed. Put my knife back. He did send me some Best Buy stuff. Woohoo! Man, that's lovely. I'll read that. This one says, have too much stuff. Rocking chairs and lamp trunks and all that other stuff. Put a commercial ad in here and sell it. Ooh, look at this. What in the world is this? Ooh. This is, this is a thing <coughs> that you bolt to a head on a Volkswagen. And it sits separate because it's got a separate carburetor of what hits here. And I guess it's the carburetor on either end of the Volkswagen. I see these in the Volkswagen uh, hot rod magazines. Golly. This is either a terrapin. Oh, look at this. Yay! Yay, yay, yay. 
That is pretty. That's pretty. You know, I've got this engine in here that I'm getting ready to put in pearl. And this stuff here would just be really pretty to put it on pearl. This is the other side. Left side, this is the right side. Man, that is beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It ain't because I'm living right, boys. It's just because I've got good taste in my friends. And it's all young's. They say something about greatness. Well, I'm not great. I'm just standing on the shoulders of giants. Greatness giants. This has got empty on it. This is the other side. And you cram it on there, and you put a carver rooster on it. And you jerk the throttle open, and away you go. Man, that is neat. Tell you what, it's Christmas right here in November. Ooh, this is the good stuff. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Just like that guy that got hung in the saw briar. The guy got hung in the saw briar. He went, wait a minute, wait a minute. Look at this. I'm not real cultured on this stuff, but this looks pretty nice. It's heavy as hog's liver, too. Some of it says Solex. Some of it says brush coal in brass. I'm taking this as a carburetor. And it's got big holes in it, so I bet this bad boy will make something hum. Uh, Y'all have to jump in here and help me because I'm ignorant on this stuff. Solex B-R-O-S-O-L. Brosol, Brosol. Wow, this is beautiful. Tell you what, he loves me for sure. H40 slash 44 EIS. Oh boy! And here's the oven. Wow. Sit down here, Larry. Excuse me, this thing won't bend. Good leg though, I get to stand on it. This is the same thing. Solex H4044EIS. Brosol. Boy, it's got little bitty adjustments all over it. I'll never figure it out. I just hope it does good without any brains because that's all I've got to to do. Boy, this is neat. Good, good, good. That's lovely. Thank you so much. Let me see if I can figure out right quick. Ooh, here's a message. Uh, nope. This is what I have to do because my thing's all goobed up. And I've got like no bars and no Confessiados on stuff. Do this. History. Because I just was trying to watch this boy's stuff. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You'll have to, you'll have to hang on for just a second here. Do this. And uh, this would be a good time for me to fast forward the, the thingy. If I could. Stop. Uh, we're going to get a hold of this boy right here. He deserves all my love and everything else. because, And he's starting up a good channel when he has time. Because all he has is his phone to travel to do with. And, uh, that burn flies. So, and I was just looking at it today. 
trying to figure out, trying to look at his truck first to see if I could do anything to help him. And uh, rising ain't too far south. It's about two hours probably. I don't know. He'll know because he drives back and forth. And uh, boy, this won't be good. It's not. This won't be a very good thing. I can't find him on here because sometimes my uh, my prescriptions will leave here and then I have to go find them again. Now try to write this stuff down, write y'all down. That way when this stuff does crash or fall away or does tricks on me, I can look y'all, still look, look y'all up and, and resubmit to you or prescribe. Where are you? Dad, blame it. I'm just going to have to haul off and, and apologize. I'm so sorry. It wasn't in my histories either, and I was watching him goob with his truck. And he's got a possum. I'm, I mean, I love watching the possum video. We've had every animal on the planet for a pet. Daddy and me and Mom and all of us. And one of the neatest pets that we had, Dad brought in a possum one time. And it was full-size possum. Of course, most people know that they're not aggressive or anything like that, although they have more teeth than any other land animal on the planet. A possum has more teeth. And I did fix a flat because a lady, a Scott Lovelady's mother-in-law run over a possum whether it was dead or alive and one of the teeth got hung in her tire and it I had to and her tire went down I had to fix that I dug it out and showed it to him he didn't believe me but anyway it was a dad burned top possum tooth in his uh, his mother-in-law's tire God bless her oh where oh where did my little boy go he's not little he's big and stout uh, Jiminy Christmas. Where are you? Oh, almost close there, Floyd. Man, I have got so many good friends on here. And some are gone, but I still keep... Ride the wings. Ride the wings. How can I forget that? We're going to jerk it open here, and I'll show you. Go to this boy. Can you see that? And tell him, thank you for Cutworm, because I know y'all think of me. And appreciate it. And this guy here, he's a dandy. He calls me, and and he don't know it when he calls me, but I'm usually pretty well hurting and stuff, and and he cheers me up. And a lot of y'all do. And you're all welcome to call me and and flea mail me and do whatever you want to. And it helps me. So that's lovely. See this old boy. He's he's a wonderful guy. Maybe he'll call me here directly. See if that package got here. But anyway, let me see if I can get it off this tripodial dwarf and I. We're cleaning out stuff, and I found my professional tripod in the in amongst all that junk. Look at that thing. Whoops, sorry. Look at that thing. Now that there's a tripod. You can it'll crank up. It's got a crank on it. It'll go up high and it'll go low and. <clears throat> That's back when my video camera that I was taking to Vegas and other places weighed 60 pounds. Remember when they used to do that and take full size uh, VHS tape? So here is the, the stuff. I'm going to turn that McIntyre on and uh, see me some videos tonight. I won't sleep a lick. 
So uh, here's concrete. It's got lines and, and goobs in it where the, but it'll, I'll tell you what, it'll beat gravel. And I think it's five yards here, a little bit less than five yards. And it was $475. Of course, I didn't pay for it. The neighbor paid for it. And I'll have to pay him back little by little. But that's just the way you do stuff. If I didn't owe, I wouldn't have nothing. So, that's it. That's it, 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 it. <clears throat> this is not doing anything in here. There's a motorcycle, murder sickle. Uh, it fires up and runs great. And I'm thinking about getting on it again. But I'm not going to. And there's the little thing. I'm fixing to put some spark plugs in it. And some new wires. And and uh, clean it up. And paint it. And do some pretty. Make it gorgeous again. And put it in, uh, <clears throat> in pearl. So that's the way. That's the. The. Uh. That's the world today, as I know it. So. I guess I'll say, sorry not to y'all, senoritas and seniors. And uh, y'all have fun. You know I love you. And, uh, uh, hmm. I can't think of anything stupid. I'm See, that's how tired I am. <laughs> but, uh, insert... The stupider remark here, you know, but uh, I'll get stupider. I'll, I'll be able to do better as soon as, soon as possible. So, all right. Bye. Nope, it's on this one. No. That one.